Namaste. Welcome to Body and Mind. And in today's topic, I'm going to talk about the mind and the watcher. So if you can think about the watcher, sometimes you can observe. Your mind is kind of talking, talking, talking. So you are kind of an observer to the mind. And this difference can help you tremendously. I probably have made a lot of videos about that, but I'm going to share my experience that I had today and uh, which will help you or which will help some of the folks to differentiate or watch your mind and take your steps or the actions very wisely. So today, I've been an observer of my mind. Once I started to meditate or practicing meditation, and that's been my whole journey. And as I do more and more, I clearly can distinguish my mind. How is it talking? So today, I'm going to share you my experience while I was doing yoga. So while I was performing yoga, I was getting ideas about the video, which I'm doing right now. And the thing is, I'm in the middle of my yoga, but my mind is telling me to go and write it down because you're gonna forget. Now actually my mind is saying right because some of the thoughts and ideas which I get during my running or during my yoga or when I'm performing something and it just comes, the ideas just flow into my mind and after some time I forget about it. I don't regain it. Now my mind which is saying to me or which is having a conversation with me, which is talking with me is saying the right things. But I'm in a position or I'm doing an action of yoga which I'm truly involved with at that moment and enjoying myself but there is a distraction from my mind mind is doing its own activity saying that you're gonna forget it's doing its own job now there was a moment where I was about to get up but because of my observation of my mind, because of my practice of observation of my mind, because of my meditation practices, because of my whole journey, I could e easily make a gap between my mind and myself watching it. And I, can, I could understand what my mind is saying and I just let it go and then start focusing on my yoga, on my breathing which I was doing and once I completed my yoga actually I forgot about the topic and uh, I think after some time when I was actually uh, doing some other action the mind was saying me again why don't you write it down <laughs> so this time probably I listened to it and then wrote it down and then this video came out now uh, so there's nothing wrong with the what whatever the mind is doing uh, The only thing you need to identify is the to differentiate the mind um, Because the mind is always telling you something which is important which is not uh, Not something of uh which is not significant or something. Mind is saying, contributing something useful for you all the time. Um, but it's also a disturbance for that practice or the movement of action that you are doing. So in that scenario, it was disturbing my yoga. Uh, so you need to understand and watch your mind and see what it's saying to you. And then you need to figure out when to do what, what actions to be done. 
So later I came in and then I wrote it down and then I made this video right now. But in this video, what I want to say is the significance of differentiating your mind speaking to you and you able to watch it and differentiate your mind. This is a really, really important thing in your life because the mind can play its role and if you immediately act upon it without observation you need to have a certain space between the mind and the thing which is watching the mind once you have the space once you have that difference then you will be able to observe the mind then you will be able to take control of your actions that's the whole point of this video i probably talked about mind in various other videos and this is a different way of putting it out there so that you some folks can understand even better how to differentiate mind and uh, hopefully this video helped you